I just want to take a reading from Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. And God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God he created him. Male and female he created them. Then God blessed them and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. And so male and female he created them when God made man. Notice the emphasis isn't just on male, male and female he created them. And so today I just want to talk about the image of God in man. And let's just speak about God for a while, the image of God. First of all, God is God is loving, God is love, that's the essential nature of God. God is kind, God is faithful, God is patient, God is righteous, God is all-powerful and full of authority. And there are many more aspects of the image of God. Um, man, the image and glory of God. Not animals, but man. When God made man, he made him him and her in his image. He created him with the capacity to love, to forgive, to be faithful, to be kind, to be righteous and so on. He gave him authority over the earth and the beast of the earth. He gave him a rational and intelligent mind. Now, there's no intelligent mind behind or intelligent design behind the evolution theory. It's the flawed theory, even Darwin himself denied at the latter end of his life and people have made uh, a fact out of a theory you know and that's a stupid idea from a blinded minds when they can actually say we our ancestors were apes or monkeys or whatever and then they create images of a family from a tooth how stupid i haven't got time to go into that today but the characteristic in man the characteristics in man are not found in animals for example to make moral choices and to forgive and so on and neither the intellectual and spiritual capacity and ability to create clever inventions, and especially the ability to communicate with God, like born again Christians can, who have now have the Spirit of Christ and because they've repented the sin of the sin and asked Jesus into the life. Man has been given that potential to create to communicate with God. This animals do not have. And so this is the distinction that we need to make. Uh, when we're talking about evolution and creation there is definitely as a fact i know i can put my whole life on it because i based my life on the bible god's word which is true that uh, we are you know there's a, an intelligent mind behind the creation of this universe and the creation of man and animals and just read genesis and it will explain it to you but you have to come in faith if you don't come in faith, the mind will continue to be blinded and you will not know the truth. And it's only the truth of God's word that will set you free. Praise the Lord. So it's great when you become a Christian and your eyes are open to see who is behind it all. That there is a creator and there is an intelligent design behind it all. And so this ability to communicate with God is, uh, and this is one very important aspect of the image of God in man that I want to talk about today. That God, who is the creator, created man to create. He gave him creative ability. It started when God brought the animals to Adam to see what he would name them. In Genesis chapter 2, verse 19 and 20. Man at that time was sinless and what he created was pure and was good. Then man sinned and misused the creative gift that God had given him and he created evil inventions in many cases. For example, the Tower of Babel, created for the glory of man and so on. Man went off track with his creative ability because his imagination became perverted through sin and rebellion. Man as a whole in his sinful state has created many good things I, I want to repeat that again. Man as a whole in his, inf in his sinful state has created many good things for the benefit of mankind. But the image of God in man has been defiled and perverted. 
But we also see the devil misusing many of man's inventions for evil purposes. The Bible speaks about in Romans chapter 1 verse 30, part of that verse, that man has become inventors, mankind of evil things. For example, magazines, corrupt magazines and videos, films and DVDs, and especially the use of the internet can be used for evil for creating evil and communicating that evil. This is a challenge for the born-again Christian who is a new creation with a restored creativity for the purpose of creating good things for the benefit of mankind and using his or her creative ability to use the internet to counteract the works of the devil. Satan knows and uses the power of the internet. For example, terrorists use the internet to spread their poisonous uh, doctrine around they have their own websites and videos actually showing them beheading people uh, actually through these videos and all the rest of their uh, activities communicating that poisonous doctrine of theirs and also there's the Satan uses pornography and uh, that's a warning to all Christians today who are tempted by this evil to move into pornography and perversion and so on um, and hate and doctrines of devils he uses to communicate to spread God also uses the internet uh, to spread the teaching of the Word of God this is God who uses that and so that's good isn't it when we can do it for God we need to break out of the religious mold or any mold that we may be in that says thus far no further and break the barriers and limitations through faith action because we are created in, in his image to create and pioneer. We are made in his image. You need to realise the powerful creative ability within you to pioneer new ventures for God. Not only on the internet but on the ground. Don't limit yourself. Because the Bible says greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. We have the explosive power of omnipotence in us. All those who are born again. That means all powerful. We can do everything. Yield what you have to God and break out of the mould and go forth in the name of Jesus and create for him. You know, the great pioneers use their God-given creativity for new ventures. For, for example, uh, science, exploration of science, space exploration, medicine and so on. You can do it for the kingdom of God. Thank you for listening today. <laughs>